Hey, it's your old pal Fernbark, and today for Cast Iron Wednesday, I'm going to make some hock broughton. Now, how do I know you can make hock broughton in a cast iron skillet? I mean, it's right here on the picture. Since this is a kit, I'm going to presume that the instructions are pretty simple. All I have to do is follow them. Uh, you guys can just go ahead and read this on your own and, you know, make it at home. All right, in order to make this recipe, I need 500 grams of hock flesh. Now, 500 grams of hock flesh is a half a kilogram, and one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So, half a 2.2 pounds is pretty much what's in this bag. And hock flesh is ground meat, and this is ground hamburger. I'm good to go. Let's crack this baby open. Ooh, it's got a nice turn notch. That's what she looks like on the inside. You know what? This smells exactly like uh, a Lari seasoning salt. Yeah, I just paid a buttload of money for Lari seasoning salt. Anywho, here we are. And you are supposed to add 100 milliliters of water, which is nearly a quarter of a cup, but not entirely a quarter of a cup. Now that the warm water has had a chance to uh, work its magic with this seasoning mix. I'll say that it's Lowry seasoning salt uh, with a little bit more garlic and a little bit more onion or chive to it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mix that up because this is about to get nasty. So after struggling to mix this in a freakishly small bowl, I decided I would go ahead and move it to a cutting board to mix it up. Now the research I have seen shows that you can either make this as patties or as a meatloaf and I just decided to get lazy and, and do a meatloaf. Also, I love meatloaf. Oh, jeez. Steamy. Here we are. I think that looks pretty darn good. So to the joy of my Canadian viewers and perhaps the chagrin of my German viewers, I'm going to add a little Canadian love sauce to the top of my Hochbraten. Well, I now declare this done. Woo! I'll go ahead and slice a piece right off of here. i got to tell you what, the smell of onion on this is really, really strong. So if you don't like onion, this is definitely not going to be for you. But what doesn't go better with meatloaf than mashed potatoes? It's actually coming off the bottom. Well, it's a little sticky. Here we go. My first taste of hock broughton. If I can get it on the fork, it's kind of crumbly. There we are. It actually tastes like any meatloaf I've already made before. Which is good. I like it. Well, let's put a bow on that knock, Broughton. It was delicious. It was actually 100% uh, better the next day. That would be one of the two things I would do, is definitely eat it the next day. Uh, and then the other thing I would do is maybe mix twice as much meat because there was a pretty heavy onion flavor, which was okay, But I and I like onion a lot, but that was like over the top. The next day I didn't really taste it as much, but if I was gonna make it to eat that night, uh, either use half the amount of mix and with one pound of meat or use two pounds of meat with the whole mix. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode of Cast Iron Wednesday. I hope this was the best knock broughton video you watched today. Thank you.